Hello, I'm Dr. Gerardo Rodriguez, Assistant Professor in the Department of Anesthesiology at Boston Medical Center. In this video, we will be reviewing the subcostal views. The goals of this video are to illustrate proper probe position and manipulation, to illustrate anatomy visible by the subcostal views, and to review the diagnostic utility of these views. To obtain the subcostal views, we start with a patient in the supine position. If apical views are too difficult in your patient, the subcostal view may be ideal. Nonetheless, the subcostal view may be difficult in patients with abdominal dressings, abdominal distension, or morbid obesity. During examination of the subcostal views, the approach begins with the subcostal four-chamber view. From here, a slight counterclockwise rotation should reveal the inferior vena cava. Returning to the subcostal four-chamber, Further clockwise rotation should reveal the subcostal short axis view. Starting with the probe indicator pointing to the patient's left side, or approximately 3 o'clock, the probe is placed in the subsiphoid position. The probe beam should be slightly angulated to the patient's left and anteriorly. Minor counterclockwise or clockwise rotation may be needed to optimize the view. The sector orientation of the subcostal four chamber view is inferior to the right, superior to the left, anterior to the top, and posterior to the bottom. Structures visible in the subcostal four-chamber view are the liver, the left ventricle, the left atrium, the right atrium, the right ventricular free wall, the interatrial septum, the interventricular septum, the posterior mitral leaflet, the anterior mitral leaflet, septal tricuspid leaflet and the anterior tricuspid leaflet. From the subcostal four-chamber view, one can assess left ventricular ejection fraction, left ventricular and right ventricular systolic function, ventricular dilatation, regional wall motion abnormality, mitral valve and tricuspid valve pathology, intracardiac masses, and septal defects. It should be noted that the interatrial septum and the interventricular septum are best examined in the subcostal view given the perpendicular alignment to the ultrasound beam. From the subcostal four chamber view, the probe is angulated slightly to the patient's right side with a slight counterclockwise rotation until the IVC is seen entering the right atrium. The structures visible at this level are the IVC, the right atrium, the SVC, the liver, and the hepatic veins. At this level, the IVC can be assessed for dilatation and collapsibility. IVC measures can be used as surrogates for right atrial pressure or as predictors of fluid responsiveness. From the subcostal four-chamber view, the probe is angulated slightly to the patient's left with a slight clockwise rotation until the short axis of the heart is seen. The sector orientation of the subcostal short axis view is right to the top, left to the bottom, anterior to the right, and posterior to the left. Similar to the personal short axis view, there are several levels of interest in the subcostal short axis position. Each level is located by simply tilting the probe either inferiorly towards the apex of the heart or superiorly towards the ascending aorta. The levels of interest are typically the aortic valve, mid-papillary, and the apical level. The structures visible at each of these levels are described in the parasonal short axis video. The diagnostic utility of the subcostal short axis view is similar to the parasonal short axis view.